Hey guys, welcome back. And for those of you who haven't followed along, this is Scrappy, really crazy wild bush plane with over 600 horsepower. Today we're gonna do a little bit of carbon fiber work, little throttle pod. We finished the upholstery and there's also a little Easter egg in there. So follow along, let's get to work. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. All right, guys, this is pretty cool. From insulation foam to a seat base, took just a couple hours last night, a couple hours first thing this morning, get it all sanded and clear coated, but it's unbelievably light. It actually weighs less than half the weight of a high density foam I could have used to build the seat cushion up. Less weight, it's extremely strong. And then over time, I don't get any sag in the seat. So this goes on the floor and then there's a three inch padded multi-stage seat that's going on top of this. But this just helps kick up so your legs get support underneath so you can ride longer. Yeah. We gotta go to Alaska, so. Anyway, all done, I'm gonna get it in the plane. Let's get back to work. Hey guys, I just finished this up. This is a rear bulkhead behind the back seat and the luggage compartment. But it actually is the back seat. It sits on an angle about like that. And here's the back seat carbon fiber piece I made. It sits about like that. What's really cool is it makes a really large, wide back seat. You'll have a cushion the whole way and it's extremely lightweight. I wanted to get a barrier between the luggage and the front, and I wanted it to be sealed tight right to the floor and all the walls so that nothing can migrate front to back, back to front. Just camping gear, uh, pots, pans, things like that. You should have all tied down, but heaven forbid we have an incident or an accident. I wanted to make sure that if that stuff was tied down but somehow came free, it couldn't get through this and so this is a quarter inch honeycomb with multiple layers of carbon fiber and then i turned it into a beam by adding these edges and both these edges go both directions they're extremely thick and you can see if you come in close this big rounded edge thick carbon double-sided and then this bolts in and that and it attaches not only to the main frame bar in the back, but also the steel frame and the floor. And so the way you put it in is real simple and fast. It's got this perfect radius. It hooks on the back bar like this and folds down and snaps into place and then bolts into the steel frame. And then the back seat goes in. It's gonna make a really comfortable, really wide seat that's locked in place. Um, and it turned out really, really lightweight. I'm super happy we got both done at once and that it's still removable because Scrappy has the ability to have a bed in it. Uh, it has a pass-through to the luggage. So if I want, I can simply pull a couple of screws, stack these together like this, put the cushions on it, and this whole thing slides in to my two sub-belly pods but kind of out of sight, out of mind with the cushion and it has a tucked in spot for it, it won't move. So that's how you tuck it away so I can sleep in Scrappy. Or if I want, I can just take it out if I don't need the weight and it's just me in the planes. I'm done, I'm super pumped. I'm gonna go install it, get back to work. Next project, let's go. Final touches on the rear bulkhead back seat as I'm laying out the upholstery we're gonna do on it. The yellow represents the bottom cushion and this blue area is gonna be the back cushion. So I'll do orange here and black trim with an orange logo inlaid into it. I've got a buddy who can do this. I've done a lot of my own upholstery in the past. Um, matter of fact, Dex is doing upholstery on his uh, Wave Runners right now, which is awesome. So I've got a buddy who's really good at this and I think I'm gonna turn it over to him, but I thought I'd lay it out make a template. I'm going to transfer this to cardboard, give them all the, the pieces. What you see right here is the seat belt pass-throughs. They're positioned exactly on the angle from where they bolt to the steel main frame behind the back seat, right about this location. And I ran them up and around me and put myself on a seat to make sure the angle is perfect. So the straps, if you were to get in an impact or crash and pull hard, it's going to 
try and keep the strap dead center and actually not bind on any direction. Any kind of bind could cut a strap. It will pull dead straight through the middle, but I added these big rubber inlays in there to protect it. So anyway, we're getting closer. Let's get some upholstery done. Let's get back to work. Okay guys, so I'm gonna quickly make a part. I've got just about an hour left before I've gotta head home to dinner. So what I'm gonna do, I've just carved up this little piece of foam and this represents the angle, if you look straight sideways on the throttle, it represents the angle of this throttle. So this also matches up the throttle on this end. So basically I'm gonna make a part that is carbon fiber that covers all of this. These come out the top of it. The angle represents the full throw of the throttle on both sides, but then I can rest my hand on it and be able to comfortably relax in flight and make fine tune adjustments on my mixture and hide all of this assembly at the same time. So basically a double sided version of this here with a carbon trim all is one part that can go over top of my throttle assembly. I got an hour, I better get to work. Okay, <laughs> and it looks silly and quick. Um, you can see I've got it set where this side's gonna make a carbon fiber 90 degree lip. This side's gonna come down flush. I'm gonna run the carbon long. That's because where it attaches for the throttle quarter and assembly, um, this side will go flush and this will screw into the existing carbon fiber. This will screw into the edge right before the window. So my hand can rest here to run the throttle. So. Let's knock it out, back to work. Okay, I'm getting close. Just kidding, I'm really not. 
I was putting the clear coat on it and it was going so well and then I made it run. So <laughs> I gotta sand it off, wet sand it, spray it again. Oh well, <laughs> it's gotta be right, let's do it again. All right guys, sometimes you get it right and then today I didn't. <laughs> so I made a little handle for my throttle with my flap control switch goes into this end right there and snaps into place. And this goes in and it feels great. And then I carved out the back to have a keyway that attaches into the throttle so that it locks it in place and it can't twist and get my thumb trigger out of alignment. But once I got it on, I realized that I wanted the lever to be a little further underneath to more center it and get my hand closer to the window, just a little more room. So I had to remake it <laughs> and I made this one. Yet I put it together and the distance and the size was perfect. There's a tight fit on there. Anyway, the distance and size is perfect and I inset it way further in. You can see it right there where I got a lot deeper socket. The bar goes way inside and I love the feel, the size, except for I wasn't thinking yet again and I didn't program in rounded edges. And so when you put your hand on it, if you reach your finger a certain way underneath, it's kind of sharp and annoying. And then also it got heavy because I hollowed the whole thing out, but where I recessed it, this is a lot of aluminum. So it sucks, because I don't want to live with that. Third time's a charm. I can't believe I had to make it three times. So now I have rounded the backside drilled holes all the way through the end of it to lighten it up. Now it's back to featherweight. These fit in it perfect. I got my thumb throttle and my hand and finger can go in it. The arm comes out more into the, this edge and the wire comes out the bottom along the back side of the lever. So now the wire's out of the way, my finger doesn't get cut and it's lightweight. All that for a throttle handle. If I didn't do it three times, it would have been a whole lot better, but it's time to install it. So after a couple hours of messing around with machinery, <laughs> let's get back to work. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up right here. I'm gonna show you a couple things really quick. I'm so excited to get to this point. Uh, I've went ahead and lowered the suspension way down just so I could work on the plane easier. So I've got it down low. We got this uh, door all buttoned up. We got the upholstery finished. You can see the seat lifts up to let someone climb into the back very easily. Seat goes back down and you get in the front. I've got the uh, throttle assembly pod done. It looks just a lot more finished. Mixture control, flap control. Um, everything's ready to go. I couldn't be happier with how the back seat worked. It looks like there's not much room, but I pulled the people together more like two guys on a bobsled team. It's bobsled time! just nestled in together. But surprisingly, it's one of the most comfortable planes I've ever climbed in the back of. It's really a wide seat, it's laid back, your legs are way forward. So even though you're close, uh, CG is really tight together, which is also great for flying slow flight, not needing as much pitch control. And then the fact that it feels so roomy in such a small area, oh, I couldn't be happier with it. So I got a lot more to do, but the inside of the plane, for all intents and purposes, is finished. Flap control, I'll dive more into that later. Obviously, I did that so I don't have to reach. There's other reasons I did flap control, electronic, and I'm pretty pumped about it. So we're gonna dive into wings real soon, talk about what I'm doing, very different, and a little bit more on horsepower and everything else coming up, and also a surprise, a surprise. I love surprises. I love being involved, God, I'm so, freaking excited. I've been holding out on and I've been working on throughout the build and I'm ready to show it coming up in a real soon video. I hope you guys like this crazy build Scrappy. I'm having a lot of fun building it and interacting with you guys. I read your comments. Actually, a lot of times my wife reads them while I'm sanding something. And uh, we have a lot of fun together going through the comments. So thank you for commenting, following along, sharing our passion of aviation. Go fly with someone, take them up, share the love that is Airplanes, our airplane family, you guys know the drill. I've done enough talking. I gotta get back to work. <laughs>